Hello. I wasn't sure if it was recording. My bad. Hi, Capricorns. It is your turn for your beginning of November read for this current year. Yes. Anyway, Capricorns, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, really. Just boop your nose and away we go. Right? All right. All right, what you got, Caps? Parasite. What the fuck? I'll never like this deck when it comes to us Capricorns. It makes me worried shit. It's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, Parasite. Let's see. Moon phase, waxing crescent, stage depress depression. When the only answer to a lack of self efficiency is to cling to another one when the only answer to to lack of what the fuck when the only answer to the lack of self-efficiency is to cling to another one the grammar in these books i swear visual seed a long-haired man with a pale face and heavy eyelids I, I'm gonna have to sit here and read through this because this one's all written weird. A long-haired man with a pale face and heavy eyelids. A dull golden chain draped over his forehead. Where? You can barely see that shit. It looks like an eye patch, actually. That's kind of groovy. Around his body and through his body, a poisonous ivy grows and clings subtly to him. Sentence. What can't survive alone will seek company, but instead of growing together, they will wither together. What the fuck? Okay. Going dark, relationships are not a zero-sum game. Of course, using each other is part of the game, but it's quite different when, you, when use takes the shape of supporting rather than manipulating or exploiting. In the long run, a good relationship is a win-win. Where the more I give, the more I get, and the other way around. Still, it's not always like this, isn't it? Not just in a bad relationship. In the short run, bad is bound to happen, even in the house of true love. We cling, we bite, we hunger for safety and freedom and support. And on the other side, we get mangled, bitten, demanded on. Well, it happens. It happened, and it will happen again. It is part of the game. But if it happens too often, it creates a toxic environment. It doesn't matter if we are the victim or the perpetrator, as the poison is shared equally. One gets the pain, the other gets the advantage. But the toxic part, they both get fully. A parasite, a leech, kills itself as much as it kills the host. It sacrifices the journey to the destination. And then the destination to... It, what? Two on its own. Fa no. It, it, oh, God. It kill. It, it sacrifices the journey to the destination and then the destination to its own failures. Okay. The problem is not living as sheep, but the true problem is living as a sheep for 100 years. Capricorns, I feel like this is saying, like, be careful with a relationship because it could go bad really fucking easily. That's kind of crazy. Like, are you connecting with somebody? Are you finally getting away from crazy ass fucking stalkers? Cause you know, those bitches still be lingering. They're still checking. Oh boy, do they check. Weak ass bitches. <laughs> All right. What's the energy caps? Not really letting feelings known. Could be a Pisces involved in this. My priestess. In the situation, we got the Empress, though. Wishes and wants. The world reverse. Is there something hung up that you want out of this shit? Because this is like, there's a gear in the fucking clock, and now it's going like, ka ka ka, -ka. Uh, Excuse me. I didn't mean the burp. Whew. It just happens. Uh, obstacle and challenge. Once again, it could be a Pisces, or you could be dealing with the Cancer. Um... Figuring out that someone's using your emotions to hold you on strings, dude. I think there was some unfinished business going on. 
And I think there might be a fear of revealing that you feel like your emotions were played with or getting past the fact that like people's emotions were used to make someone into puppets or two people into puppets. Because this does talk about manipulation, but it's like breaking free. The fears and rejections, though, is the Five of Swords reverse, playing games and losing the war, right? Oh. How it starts and how it'll end, Capricorn. Did you get you a baby? Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Finally! Something that isn't fucked up, Caps! <laughs> we deserve it! It's like, ooh, it might, you might, um... It's like the Empress is looking back to realize, oh, things didn't end quite right. Let's try this again. However, I really feel like there's a Pisces or a Cancer involved or some shit, but it's like they're not revealing their true feelings, and it's almost like they're not admitting that they had their emotions played with and shit. And I think yours was played with too or something like that, and, uh... Now there's some fear about this uh, whole, I wanted to win the, the battle and then I lost the goddamn war, showing off my butt cheeks ever so seductively through my gown. Look at my cheeks. Look at them. You know, like, they're precious. <laughs> okay. Here, look at, okay, this person might have, like, the high priestess? Someone might not be revealing the fact that they felt like they were a little abandoned like a child. Not in a horrible way, but it's like they had to get away from those emotions and just realize it for what it is. Honestly, it's just like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's what we deserve. I think someone just felt really hurt with how things went down and possibly feels like... What the fuck? Okay, this is probably somebody you actually... Was there someone you flirted with before Capricorns and they're just now popping up and like things are just kind of, oh my God. Yep. Okay. Anyway, moving on. The, uh, the Empress. Uh, okay. Yeah. There's somebody from the past you're connecting to that you literally just possibly got in touch with, you know? So with the situation, this Empress. She's looking back at a time when she was literally in a fucking cage where people guarded her from leaving, which was like, you know, we're not letting, like, like our tax go in the swamp of sadness again, you little shit. You know, the, we're just going there. They just oh, resurrected him. It's not happening again. We're not dealing with that scene with even worseness, right? Yeah, it was like people were watching them, keeping from him from being happy and... Or at least feeling like safe and it was like no matter how much this person tried to be kind or make an offering people wouldn't get off of this bitch but she's looking back at this like it's no longer present i'm dropping one more and now she's back to being the happy empress huh this person needed to i guess she's looking back at the past at which she came from and now she sits pretty because she's happy she's like yay I'm in a better place or some shit, right? That'd be you or your person, Capricorn. Take your pick. You might have felt like you had to give up this because you felt like an abandoned child and that they didn't share the same feelings as you, Capricorn. Maybe you felt like it was just all in your fucking head or a dream or you were seeing things or you assumed shit and that's why you felt fucking stupid, right? Which could happen. Wants and wishes world reverse uh, yeah something didn't end correctly between the two of you because you guys know each other from back in the day for sure oh and i think you guys want to make things right again oh my god are we actually going to have a happy fucking reading capricorns oh my goodness i'm so excited moon reverse in the obstacle and challenge though and i feel like it's admitting that games were played on both people's emotions you know, someone was like, I control everything and this is how the show's gonna go. You know, like, acting like they pay... F this is like somebody who owns everything. And it was like, this person, since they own this shit, just manipulated everybody like a doll. It just it caused everybody to play certain roles and shit. And I feel like it's revealed that, like, you know, there was a person involved here who didn't give a fuck about fairness as much as making sure that you guys didn't really, um, 
come back together, I feel like. You know. However, um, this tower, it, it, it doesn't even fucking matter, because it's already figured out. Like, you know, I think you guys will end up having actually a talk about it at some point. Maybe not now, maybe not later, but I feel like the whole parasite thing is like, you guys gotta clear some air, um, before you... I don't know, sit on their face or whatever. I don't know, Capricorns. Take your pick. Fear and Rejections. Five of Swords. Someone played some fucking games and they lost the war. All just to win a small-ass battle that didn't matter. Oh. They left with their emotions in a huff. Okay, so you could definitely be dealing with um, a water sign. Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Aries... Yourself, Capricorns, Taurus, or Virgo, Pisces, and Cancer. Well, I already said water signs, yeah. But you're definitely dealing with someone who, um... I think they reacted poorly emotionally. Mainly because they just got pissed off and shit. You know. Hmm. Like, they were expecting compassion? Or something? But it's like, I feel like this person just lost her shit. I, mean, I don't know. That's that's what I'm getting. It's like, oh, you lost your shit, dude. What the fuck are you thinking? You know. Um, hmm. But now they want to come back to you. Or this could be you. I don't know. Or maybe you approach them and make the offer. I don't know. But it seems like it's a slow and gentle offer from either party, honestly. Now to how this shit starts to how it'll end, this two of cups scenario. You guys will actually end up being really secure with each other. There's not going to be any questions between you, I guess. Because um, you already know that if you go that way, it's going to be a disaster. Like, watch what the fuck you say around each other. Learn each other's boundaries. You know, um, I'm a Sag rising, so I say whatever the fuck comes out of my mouth on a regular. Not really thinking about it, right? That's just how that fire goes with toes, right? But like then after a while, I think about it. It's just like, maybe that was the wrong thing to say. You know, Maybe I was kind of an asshole. <laughs> but it's like you have to be careful with what you say like you guys will be secure with each other now i feel like with this parasite card you have to be careful because um you you guys could easily go into something that could be disastrous later on if you weren't paying attention but capricorns it looks like you might actually have a new love yay this is, I was not expecting. Sounds romantic. Lucky y'all. All right, back to the energy. What happens after? Uh, you might fuck up your emotions a little bit. Hell, you might even just start crying or throwing a fit. Uh, just to figure out where you're going. Could definitely be a Cancer you're dealing with. Or even a Pisces or a Scorpio. Like, there's water all over this goddamn board. Like, shit. They're everywhere. It just gets everywhere. It's so wet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, the situation. Maybe things didn't work before for whatever reasons. Maybe there was jealousy or competitive things involved. It's time to slay that energy. I think you guys actually have to work together. I think you both had, like, issues. <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. It's like you two had issues. I think more like competitive than anything. If y'all were like working on a project together, um, if you're bumping nasties, you know, hiding nuts at work or some shit, or you were just friends for a time, like something didn't happen, it got more competitive. And it was like, that was something that you guys had to fight with each other. And it kind of got bad. It brought a lot of anxiety. The wants and wishes. You both are at a crossroads to really fix this shit, and this person, Capricorn, might be coming to give you what you need to finally, like, change shit, right? Because, you know, it's really, really hard to let these emotions go. Dude! They love you! Oh my god! Capricorn! I'm so happy! You guys are getting new love, finally! Like, fuck the stalker weirdo that has been following y'all for like, I don't know, like at least uh, since... 
May, April, May, that shit's been starting. Someone actually pointed that out to me. Um, that some of my readings are actually reflecting that magician I read for back in May. Which is crazy, because I've been feeling that way too a lot. But not this time, that motherfucker ain't here. So many cards fell out, I'm only using the beginning of this. There might be tricks that didn't work out exactly between the two of y'all. So maybe one of you or both of you just took what you could and walked away from the rest to let it heal up. And that might not have been the best judgmental accord. You know, it might not have been the best idea. Because someone actually ended up getting fucked up. And they, they didn't pay attention to where they were walking with this trap. So the obstacle and challenge, right? Ah. Uh, I feel like they were, I think you guys were expecting a victory with each other that never came. I think you both were on the same page. You were just speaking different languages at the time, Capricorn. And you guys just want to go party. Oh my God. You guys just want to be happy and have a good time and celebrate. Despite the fact that you guys didn't find a victory together prior, you guys are willing to drop everything and just be like, fuck yeah, I like chocolate milk. Let's drink some chocolate milk till we die. You know, like, fuck the alcohol. Let's just burst our bellies with fucking lactose and shit. That would be bad for me. Actually, I can't really drink a lot of milk. It makes me sick as fuck. Don't know why, though. Anyway, the fears and rejections here, right? What stems up after this? Uh, quell yourself. You'll be fine. Your emotions will be chill. You know? This person is like refreshing themselves, almost prepared for you. This young Empress Capricorn. Like, they're not drinking alcohol, but they're definitely not. They're definitely coming in with, um. The knight is thirsty. The knight is a thirsty bitch. He's literally sitting at a river on his horse, drinking up all of this water. Trying to quench that thirst when it comes to you. Ooh! Ooh! Capricorn! Someone wants you! Oh my god! Like, look at you go! Who wants that booty? I am so proud of y'all! Someone wants your booty! You better get that booty. You better accept my love. That's, uh, that's abusive. Don't ever fucking say that to anybody. I said that as a joke, and some of my coworkers thought I was serious. And I was like, no, I actually didn't mean that. I was joking. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, I'm crazy, but I'm not possessive. You know. The end right here between the two of you. You guys do come up with a world together. And you... Continue. Flying things over to each other. Almost giving each other little gifts or messages or some shit. Oh my god, this is so fucking romantic. But don't let this shit come, become a parasite, you know. Don't let negative stuff stem in or whatever. Like, I think you guys have a chance to talk or talk about whatever happened between you two. But please pay attention to what you say. Because Capricorn, I feel like it's going to be one of those times where someone's just going to hear what they want to fucking hear. And I don't know. Like, I think... I, I don't know what they're doing. Like, like I don't think they want to have a hostile relationship with you at all. I think they want you with no issues, no parasite, no nothing, right? So Capricorns, that's your reading. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you. You finally have someone who isn't psych, well, not, not as psychotic as the last one, but uh, God damn it, you're finally finding someone who loves you. Yes. All right. That's your reading Capricorns. So I will see you later. If you want a, uh, well, no, I don't know. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's up to you. I greatly appreciate it, though. But I will see you later. Love your faces. Bye-bye.